Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a big old Victoria's Secret haul because I went shopping for their semi-annual sale, which is one of the happiest times of the year because I love Victoria's Secret as does most girls. Well, a lot of girls do. They just have so much good, pink, beautiful things in that store. And I never can help myself, especially whenever the semi-annual sale comes around. So I'm gonna share with you all the goodies that I got. I can't wait for you guys to see the video. If you like it, you already know what to do. Give her a good old thumbs up. We're gonna jump right in the good old pink bag after we deal through all the tissue paper. First, I just want to share with you, I guess, the bras that I got since they're setting on top. The first bra that I got, well, this is stupid because it wasn't even on sale. You guys are like, wah, wah. Well, that's exactly what I was like because it was in the sale bin. And I feel like 50% of the stuff in the sale bin is not actually on sale because people just throw stuff in there while they're shopping. You know how that goes. I was so sold on it after I saw it in the sale bin and felt the nash, not the nash. <laughs> and felt the nice cushioning in it. And then this part right here is like that sticky rubbery material because it can be a strapless bra. I was so sold on this bra and then whenever I found out it wasn't on sale, I was like, just give it to me. I bought it anyways and I have it. I wore it one day and it actually wears really great. This is the, for those of you wondering, it doesn't even say, oh yeah. This is the Very Sexy Multi-Way, Multi-Toptations bra. And the girl told me that this is one of their most popular bras and she doubts it will ever go on sale. So I was like, thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> I got it in white because I have nude and black bras already, which leads me to my next purchase, which was on sale, a black bra. I love black bras, I don't know why I just do, okay. This one has no padding in it and it's like super flimsy and I love it. I got it for like $16, which is a hell of a deal. And this one is the No Wire San Amateur. No, this is just the No Wire. I think the other part is in another language that I just try to read to you. This is a 32C and it's a wee bit too small in the cup size. And I don't know why because I'm always a C at Victoria's Secret, but this one was just a little squishy squishy to my girls. But that's okay, I'm gonna wear it anyways. It feels so comfortable and I think this is just one of those great bras for like whenever you're in between where you don't want to put on a sports bra because you're actually wearing like a nice top. But then you don't want to put on like a push-up bra and be uncomfortable all day. So I feel like this is that bra for that kind of day. It's just like that perfect in-between sports bra, push-up bra. You know what I'm saying? That is all the bras that I bought, I do believe. The next thing I purchased is the big bottle of the Victoria's Secret Dark Angel perfume. So... It says, no ordinary angel, almond flower, mango nectar, caramel latte. Excuse me? It was originally $52 and I got it for 50% off. The box to it is just fabulous. It's covered in black glitter. I'll throw the box away. I used to be a box keeper. Do any of you guys do that? Like keep the nice boxes to makeup and perfumes, but I don't do that anymore. Okay, oh no, this is not good. In the store, they had like a sample setting in front of them and I asked the girl, because it just said Victoria's Secret Angel on this on the sample one, and I asked the girl, I said, is this the Dark Angel because it smells good? And she was like, yeah, that most definitely was not Dark Angel. That bottle was not black and did not have wings on it. So, thanks a lot. Now let's find out what Dark Angel smells like. I hope I like it. Dark Angel smells pretty good. I feel like I like the sample one that I was smelling earlier, but Dark Angel smells pretty good and I'm still happy I bought it. <laughs> I wish I had bought the one that was the sample one because that one smelled really, really good. I have no idea what it was. I thought it was Dark Angel. Um, that's so weird that she would tell me that was Dark Angel whenever the actual Dark Angel has wings on it and it's a black bottle. That was like a pink. I don't know what I smell. Anyways. It smells really good. I'm happy I bought it and it is a nice size bottle for the price that I got. So, you know. Um, my sister's so crazy. She'll like put bottles like this in her purse. <laughs> I'm like, do you have any perfume? Yeah, and like pull out a Chanel bottle or something. I'm like, that's supposed to be at home on your dresser. The next thing that I picked up, oh, these were so cute. I got these for 35 bucks and they were originally 
$56. These are their pink, the ultimate pink irreversible leggings. What? Oh my God. They're re no way. These are not reversible. It says reversible. Reversible. Oh my God. Shut up. Shut up. They say pink on the leg too. How cute is that? This looks like cotton candy tie-dye, and I got a shirt to match it. I'll show you in just a second. The shirt was not on sale, but how can I not get the matching shirt? Okay, so it is reversible, I guess, and the other side is just plain gray. Nah, so I can wear these pants for like three days in a row. No one will know. <laughs> and then they have the little pocket for your credit cards from while you work out. But we all know I'm not going to wear these to work out. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, here's the thing. I got three pairs of pants, and I lost one of them already. I wore them for like a split second and now they're gone. I checked my washer, I checked the folded clothes, I checked out my drawers, I checked my closet, I checked my bathroom wherever I leave a lot of dirty clothes. And I don't know why I'm telling you all that and I can't find them anywhere. But the pants that I, the other pair of pants that I bought are just like these except for they say pink all the way down the side of the legs. So these I got for $35 too and these are the pink ultimate yoga pants. Most comfortable pants I've ever put on my Tahuti. The, they're loose, they're not leggings, so they're not tight at all. They're like joggers, and then the bottom is cuffed, so it fits nicely. And I think that tennis shoes look nice whenever your pants are tight around the ankle. It makes your tennis shoes look cuter whenever you wear it with them. So I'm always looking for this in my pants that I buy, especially like comfy pants, because I normally will wear my tennis shoes with my comfy pants to have that tight ankle. But anyways, I got two pair of these who were 35 bucks each and then they had the second one just had pink down the legging and then these have pink on the inside and the other ones did not have pink on the inside. And then I wanted to show you guys the shirt that I had to get because it matched the cotton candy <clears throat> pants. We got a lot going on over here. This is the shirt that matches the pants. Will I wear them together? Probably not because I am not a matchy matchy girl. But anyways, this is what the shirt looks like. It's very cute. I hope my lights are not too bright. But where you're seeing it looks faded in the viewfinder. That's actually like a powder blue. And then all down the long sleeve it just says pink. <laughs> it's a little tacky, but I think it's going to be super cute with it for the plain black pants. And then the sleeve is like a jersey gray. It's a very soft shirt. I did pay $32 for the shirt, which is about what I paid for the pants. Which doesn't make that much sense. But I'm okay with it because I got so many such great deals. The next thing that I got is an, one of these shirts. I said I wanted to say another one of these shirts because I have this shirt in baby blue and I paid full price for it. This is $34 but I got it for $16.99 so like half off. And then this is like a neon orange cone like road cone shirt. So if I ever go out at night and don't want to get ran over I'll probably opt to wearing this shirt. <laughs> and then on the back it just says pink and white. Super cute and then it has a pocket on the front. Now these shirts are oversized. They're meant to be kind of oversized and like hang below and be kind of sloppy if you will looking. They're just really comfortable. I don't particularly wear these out anywhere. I wear these around the house but they're very soft material and they're just very comfortable because it's a nice oversized shirt. Um, I got an extra small which it still looks humongous but I love that about it. And my other one's a small. I would have got a small in it but they ran out. So I only had extra smalls left story of my life. Lastly, um, I got two sweatshirts and these are shirts that Tyler actually ordered for me offline because he knew how much I love them and he like surprised me with them. Um, and what better gift to be surprised with than a Victoria's Secret pink sweatshirt. The first one, well they're like the exact same sweatshirt but different colors. The first one is white and it has a silver doggy on it and then on the back, look how cute that is. I am obsessed obsessed with this pattern and I did wear it out and I got like a lot of compliments. I was like, thank you. I will let you know he bought these offline very recently, but I did see them in store as well. So, and then I got the blue one and it is a silver dog. Sometimes, who, who is that? Yoshi. Sometimes I wish that it was a cat instead of a dog logo, but that's just me. And the back of it again is the exact same. It's so cute. I love these so much. And these, again, are oversized big. I got a size small, but they're, like, really big. And I love that about them. So comfortable, and they look really cute with, like, leggings or whatever. So I got these. And that is it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It didn't seem like I got that much. Oh, and you want to know what really sucked? I went there, and I was getting ready to check out, and I had a gift card, and I left the gift card at home. I bought this stuff anyways because I was like, what are the chances I'll be back? I'll be back.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being an amazing subscriber and a part of my YouTube family. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day today. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. What do you guys think about these earrings? I know. They could be bigger. And for those of you who stayed to the very end of the video, I am wearing the Lolita 2 on my lips by Kat Von D. This is the liquid lipstick. My camera battery is dying. My cats look super annoyed with me, so I guess we're done here. What if I cut my hair this short? See? Mm -mm -mm. I feel like I look like I'm from the 90s with my hair like this. I don't know. That's why we gotta have all the zhuzh. I don't know. We're done here.